what I have for you guys is a hands-on video on how to hard reset your Google Nexus 5 phone back to its factory settings. Okay, so first things first, make sure that you guys, if you're able to, back up all your pictures, music, files, and data, and do that now before performing this procedure because this procedure is going to take you all the way back to the day you received this device new out of the box. So beware that it does perform a complete destructive format, as I like to call it, of your pictures, music files, and all that good stuff. So back everything up if you're able to do so. I don't know what condition your phone's in, but um, if you're able to, get it all off there and backed up. This is going to wipe the phone out entirely. And just to verify everything, this is the Google Nexus 5. This model that I'm using is the 16 gig model. And I'm currently running Android KitKat 4.4.2 on my phone, and I am not rooted, and this is all stock. So, if you guys are rooted, you know, use caution. I'm not 100% certain this will work for you, but I know for everyone who is just stock and who has not rooted their phone, this procedure would work just fine. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. The first thing you want to do is uh, power off your phone. So make sure you are completely powered off. Okay, and the next thing you want to do here, and this is going to allow us to access the bootloader recovery mode and get us into the Android system recovery where we can perform the complete wipeout. So on the side here, you'll have your volume up and your volume down key. What you want to do is what I found works the easiest is to press right in the center of that key, press hard enough until you feel it kind of click and you know that you're actually pressing both the volume up and the volume down keys at the same time. When you do that, you want to press and hold those keys and continue to hold those keys and at the same time, press and hold your power button and release as soon as you see this screen. Okay, so now we're into the bootloader. And now over here you'll see these arrows and that basically is, you know, volume up, volume down. And that just allows you to, you know, you can volume down, you can scroll through the menu there. There's only four options. There's start, restart bootloader, recovery mode, power off, and it goes back to start. Same thing as, you know, if you push volume up. It simply just scrolls you through that menu. Okay, so the menu you want to be in is the one that says recovery mode. Okay, and this great big red arrow points to your power button. So once you're in recovery mode, press your power button one time. What this is going to do, going to get us to a screen here showing a little Android guy on his back. And it says no command. Okay. The next thing you want to do here, press and hold down your power button. Continue to hold down your power button. And just touch the volume up key one time and release both. So that gets you into this next screen. And it says Android system recovery. So again, your volume keys up and down over here allow you to scroll through the menu in blue, okay? The one you want to be on is Wipe Data Factory Reset. So scroll down until you get to Wipe Data Factory Reset. And how you select it is press the power button one time. You're going to get into the second verification screen. It says Confirm Wipe of all user data. This cannot be undone. So again, I'm hoping you guys weren't in bad shape with your phone so bad that you couldn't back all your stuff up, but hopefully you can. Now, if you have everything, you know, saved to your Google account and you sync your phone to your Google account, then everything like your apps and stuff should restore to your phone. Um, it'll give you the option to restore that stuff if you automatically sync everything. So you just want to volume down until you get to the one that says, yes, delete all user data and highlight that. Okay. So here... You know, if you guys are this far and you're uncomfortable with it, just choose one of the no's and press the power button to restart. But if you're com comfortable with this and you want to move forward, select uh, yes, delete all user data and press your power button. You will see at the bottom, it says wiping data. Let's see if we can focus a little better here. So wiping data formatting data, and the little Android guy there showing erasing. So there we're pretty good and clear and focused, so now you'll see it probably format cache and 
whatever whatever else comes up here um, until it's done. And again, this is going to put you right back to when you pulled this thing out of the box brand new. So, actually, I like to do this every now and then just to give the phone a complete fresh restart. It actually seems to run better after I do this. So, and it should only take, you know, maybe two minutes. It probably won't take that long. So you just have to sit and wait until it's completely done. Which we will do. I don't want to edit anything out of the video, so I'm going to let it continue. So you can see exactly what happens when you perform this procedure. So there you see it formatting cache. Data wipe complete, okay? At the top, you'll see um, where it says reboot system now is already highlighted. The information there shows back up. All you have to do is touch your power button. And this is going to bring you back to your welcome screen. When we get to the welcome screen, that'll be it for my video, guys. So if your phone is stuck, freezing, you know, I don't know what may be going on with it, but this really may help you out. Even if your phone's powered off and won't power on, try that method in the very beginning by holding in dead center in the volume up and down keys. In my description, guys, I'm going to put, um, you know, the whole routine of how to do this. So just look at my video here under where the description is and click show more or whatever it has you do so you can read the whole thing and I actually pasted it all in there for you so you guys can see and you can read through it or just rewatch my video if you need help doing this. But all this is going to do is bring us back to the welcome screen and then you can sign in and everything's during, during your um, process of going through after you get to the welcome screen here it will give you the option to restore your apps and things like that which I always choose you know restore so there you are guys I really hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope this helps you out some um, please like comment subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys have a great day thanks for watching